Okay, in this video we're going to look at ordering numbers. If you want to look at ordering decimal numbers, look at the video ordering decimals and that will help you with that. We're going to look in this video look at just ordering uh, straightforward numbers. Okay, so here's a typical question. You've got 4,003, 430, 4,030, 4,103. And the question says, order the numbers from smallest to largest. Whenever you want to order numbers, I would strongly recommend considering place value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly draw down, or draw um, a place value table. Okay, so remember your place value. You've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands if you were to carry on, hundreds of thousands, millions, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to put each of these numbers underneath the place value columns. So let's start off with 4,003. 4,003. You've got 430, so 430, 4,030, and 4,103. Now, <clears throat> we want to arrange them from smallest to largest. So let's first of all look for the smallest number. So first of all, I notice that this number has no uh, numbers in the thousands and it's the only one with no numbers in the thousands so therefore 430 must be the smallest so 430 is the smallest now let's look for the, uh, the second smallest number so these three numbers both have fours in the thousands column so they're they're all uh, of this they've all got fours there so let's look at the hundreds the top one's got zero in the hundreds this one has zero in the hundreds, and this one's got a one. So the two of zeros must be smaller than the one with one. Next, let's look at the tens. The one at the top's got a zero. The other one's got a three. So therefore, the one on the top, 4,003, must be the next smallest number. So we've done this one, and we've done this one. So we've got two numbers left, 4,030 and 4,103. So let's then figure out which one's then the next smallest. Well, they've both got fours in the thousands column. One of them's got a zero in the hundreds and one of them's got a one in the hundreds. Therefore, the one with the one in the hundreds must be larger. So 4,030 is then the next smallest number. And then that leaves then 4,103 as the largest number.